aproveita sem ninguém muito pra cima, tá bom? Eu vou deixar você chamar. Então, gente, com vocês, Dani Villeneuve, Tio de Chave, Zendaya, Flores Bill e Austin Butler. That's all for you guys. Welcome to CCXP. Well, how are you all feeling about finally promoting Dune Part 2 in Brazil? That's a hell of a start, I see. A hell of a start, yeah. Be very well. Obrigado. Yeah. As you can see, we've put Princess Irulan and Paul Atreides together already. We put Princess Irulan and Paul Atreides together. That kind of matches no, here. No spoilers, no spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers. This is a spoiler free zone. Guys, thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure, it's an honor to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, Denis, that's your first time directing a franchise. Um, how are you feeling about Dune Part 2? And does the anxiety of the release get any easier with time? Um. I will say for me, it's not like a franchise, but yet it's like the, it's the second part of a, 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 a long movie. It's an honor for me to go back and work with Timmy and Zendaya. And finally... And I have the chance to work with Florence and Austin. Yeah. Hey, you guys are something, I will say that. <laughs> Thank you. So, Zendaya. Pessoal, pessoal, vamos deixar ela falar, vamos deixar ela falar só um pouquinho um, rápido. Many fans finished the first movie wishing they had seen a little bit more of you on screen. With no spoilers, um, what can we expect from Shani in the sequel? Oh man. I just want to say hi. Um, hello. Oh, wow. Hey, y'all. <laughs> um, I just want to start by saying how grateful we all are to be here with you, all of you. Your love and your kindness and your warmth mean so much. So thank you for having us. Um, but I, I mean, there's so much to look forward to. I, I was so lucky to be able to spend a little bit more time um, with these wonderful people um, this time around. The first film, I literally was only there for a bit, about a week. So I'm very grateful that I had more time to, to understand Chani, understand who she is, um, and see and work with the most beautiful crew and talented group of people that made this whole thing come to life. And I just, I feel incredibly honored to be, to be a small piece of it. Cool. And I would like, uh, yeah, I, need, I need to add, she said she's a small part of it, but the question, is there more Zendaya in the movie? Is there more? Yes, there's a lot of Zendaya. Okay, yes. And 
Flores and Austin, first of all, welcome. Uh, in the book, a lot of things happen in the second part. It's really exciting. Do you feel like you're enjoying the part, the party in the best part of it? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. I mean, look at this. This is amazing. You guys are incredible. Um, and I really think this is a testament to what you all did in the first film that was so incredible. I feel so honored to be a part of this one. I had the best time of my life, truly. I, I, I wish that we got to film this every day for the rest of my life. You know, this was awesome. What about you, Flores? Um, hi, everyone. Hi. This is truly so thrilling. Like, this is absolutely nuts. So seeing all of this love is really wonderful. Thank you. Um, what was it like? Uh, as, as amazing as you can imagine it was, the world had already been created. The actors were already there. It felt like we'd been given this gift of being able to be on set with these amazing people. And um, it truly was like a pinch me moment every single day. So thank you. Thank you for having us, Denise. <laughs> Timothy, um, <laughs> we are really devoted people, as you can see. Um, in the books, Paul and Chani, um, their connection works right away. Like, he, Paul has a lot of guidance from Chani. Um, and with you and Zendaya, did you guys also click right away on the set? Man, absolutely. On the Again, thank you everyone for being here, man. Thank you. Obrigado. But you know, me and Z hit it off right away on the first one. Like she said, she was only there for about a week. This time, we get the full Chani effect in the movie. We get the beautiful story between Paul and Chani. We get more sandworms. It's an epic adventure. I think you guys are all gonna love it. Cool, cool. And Austin, uh, for everyone that saw the David Lynch movie and his team playing Fade, I mean, he's the coolest man ever, man. And why did you choose to play the villain in this one? Is it because of the cool factor? I think it was every element, you know. Demi is one of the greatest filmmakers that has ever, ever lived. The idea of getting to do a movie with him is, I, I would do anything for him. Getting to work with this incredible cast. Um, and then on top of that, getting to play this character that, that is just delicious, you know. It was, it was so fun to get to play somebody who has a mind like him. Yeah. Delicious is a great way to describe this. Danny, um, this movie is going to go literally big on screens. And we've heard that you said that people should ideally watch it on IMAX. Can you tell a little bit for the public, why is IMAX the best place to watch Dune Part 2? IMAX or any primum formats, it has been made for the movie experience in a the theater. Like, with the immersive sound, everything, all the crew work very hard to create the best cinematic theatrical experience. And honestly, yes, IMAX is the ultimate. I mean, if you really want to go on Arrakis with these guys, you should see it on the big screen in a the theater, please. Yes. And Zendaya, is this your first time in Brazil? Um, I have been to Brazil once before, but this is, this is on a whole nother level. This is so magical and so special. Um, yeah, I mean, it's so beautiful to see all of you here. You guys are really something special. So thank you for, for sharing your energy with us today. And Florence, um, your character, Princess Arulan, may be um, the most mysterious addition to the sequel. I want to know, with no spoilers, what was the first thing you remember thinking when you got the part? Wow. Um, I, uh, I can't believe I get to play this part. Genuinely, that's, that's what I thought. And I can't believe I get to join her on this journey. And that's all I'm going to say, because she should stay mysterious. And Austin, um, you were in Elvis, and now you're in Dune. 
All the Elvis fans. Are you getting a thing for this big epic spectacle movies? Man, I just feel so incredibly blessed right now. It's an embarrassment of riches for me. I feel so grateful to get to work with directors of the caliber of Denis and Baz and um, yeah, I just feel so grateful. And then to get to experience all of this, like you guys are beautiful. So thank you. And Timote. Uh, Paul Atreides may be like a, a difficult character because eventually he'll get really powerful. Uh, do you think it may be really uh, kind of hard to connect with someone who uh, he's not particularly a hero, but maybe uh, someone who's really powerful? How, how do you do that emotional? No, I, 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 I don't think Paul is a hero. I think he's sort of somewhere between an anti-hero and a hero. If we're so lucky as to get to do a part three, then we'll see. We'll see where that goes. But for now, it's somewhere in the middle, like you said. Well, um, both of the movies, Dune and Dune Part 2, they have amazing actors, an amazing director, and obviously an iconic and extremely talented composer that is Hans Zimmer. And I know that there hasn't been a third movie yet um, here, like it's not confirmed yet, but can we all dream about you coming back here to CCXP to talk about a new Dune movie in the future? Yeah, <laughs> now you're in trouble. Yeah, that, that would be a dream, honestly. Yeah, that would be a dream. Yeah, let's make it happen. I think that everyone here would like to see you again, right? Guys, this is loud and this is beautiful. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Denis Villeneuve, Austin Blatter, Flores Pugh, Zendaya, and Timothy Chalamet.